Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review here on the channel. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Ryan Vargas's 2022 Reddit NASCAR paint scheme for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. What a cool diecast, guys. A Reddit diecast? Now, look, I'm not big into, like, social media outside of YouTube, but Reddit is a pretty big name, and for them to be on a NASCAR stock car in the Xfinity Series is a big deal. I do know that for sure, and this is one of my first... I don't know if it's my first JD Motorsports diecast. I kind of remember another one. I could be wrong, but this is definitely my first Ryan Vargas diecast right here, and it's the special uh, Reddit paint scheme. So, without further ado, let's get this Ryan Vargas diecast out of the box. And you guys are noticing really quickly how much harder these are to get out of the box than these cup cars. And here it is. The die cast out of the box. And it is so refreshing to have a car with colored wheels. And I'm going to take a closer look at that now. White wheels on this paint scheme. Look how awesome that looks. Uh, on a car that's already white and has orange and black and then got white rims on it. How cool is this? This is a really cool die cast, folks, to get. Kind of an underrated one, even though a lot of people are probably gonna pass this up, which is unfortunate. I wish more people would do reviews on the die cast <laughs> um, from the Xfinity series. There are plenty of them, but just not as many as I was expecting to see. Uh, but here is the die cast itself. You got number six right there, Camaro, JD Motorsports. And of course you got Reddit on the hood. Then you have Xfinity, Vargas. Then you got ARP, Sunoco, and a pretty bad paint. Oh wow, that is a, whoa. Guys, look at that. That is quite an intense paint chip uh, right by the headlight right there. And it, let me see if I can get that. No, that's a legitimate paint chip. Wow, that is b -b 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 bad. Oh well. You have Goodyear right there, you have NASCAR race car, Xfinity Series, and the purple logo. Uh, which has the purple banner as well for Vargas, because this is a newer Xfinity car. Uh, you got Mobile One, Lincoln Welders, Arrowhead. You have Ryan Vargas, 23. And of course you have the little flag right there, you got number 6. Then you have Patrick Anderson over the CircleBDieCast.com logo. And then of course you have Swan Security. R dash NASCAR faces on the quarter panel right there. And on the back, a special thanks to a bunch of names. Oh, yeah, by the way, the entire back decal of this is crooked. Uh, you can see the tail lights are cut off, the exhausts are cut off, everything is shifted to the left. Uh, kind of unfortunate. Uh, you got Chevrolet, special thanks to all the names. Number six, Camaro. You got Reddit right there, Vargas, which, by the way, all the Xfinity cars have offset uh, names on the rear windshield. I don't usually watch the Xfinity series, so somebody please tell me if that is correct. Because if you look at my Brandon Jones car, it kind of looks offset as well. Uh, anyways, you have R-NASCAR on the roof. You got number six, and that is going to be it for the sponsors on the paint scheme. Uh, so now for the paint scheme itself, they spray painted it white, seems to be a normal kind of white. And then you have the black splitter, and the black spoiler on the car. And it's going to start out with orange in the front, a orange stripe with a thin black stripe over, leaving a gap in the middle for the white, as you guys can tell. Uh, and then, it stops right before the wheel well. And then you're going to have some orange stripes. And the orange on here is really, really nice. It's more of like a bright, dark orange mixture sort of thing going on here with the color. It looks great. I mean, the camera doesn't make it look as good as it does in real life. The orange is really bright and vibrant. I uh, got a really thick stripe with a thin white stripe spaced out right there. And it kind of wraps around the front kind of in an odd way, like an upside down V. If you look at it up like this, it would be a normal V. And then it's gonna leave, it's gonna lead into another white stripe. Wow, it's kind of an illusion there. Because this kind of looks like it could be its own stripe, but in reality, this whole backdrop is orange. And then it has a white stripe with thin uh, space lines between it, which looks really, really cool. That is really a nice looking design. So, really cool. Of course, you got some arrows. You're gonna have one, two, three of them are bold, and three of them are just an outline, and they're pointing upward. 
pointing into the driver's window right there and of course these are pointing at the contingencies and then of course we got the R NASCAR and behind that is a white stripe of course you got your get biofuel logo there as well got a white stripe that just spikes across the side and then goes straight down towards the side skirt right there a little bit of the orange next to the rear wheel well uh, but then you have a black outline to that and of course heading on to the back rear portion of the paint scheme next to the rear quarter windows two thin black stripes and then of course an entire full-on black stripe wrapping all the way to the deck lid and of course the quarter panel being black with the orange uh, triangular spikes on the quarter panel right there very jagged and really sharp and that black is going to lead all the way to the back but back to the orange on this car it's just so awesome of course you got the white stripe right there as well just the color combination and just the stripe design on here it just looks fantastic uh got a little door handle for the xfinity series camaro then of course you have the thin white stripe spaced out for the thick stripe wraps across the side we looked at that that looks pretty cool and on the back is all black and the deck lid is all black um but around the very boxy hips of the Xfinity car, you could definitely tell the white kind of wraps over and onto the sides. Uh, and then you have the black roof rails right there. And how could we forget the numbers? So we can have a black outline, a white number fill-in with some gray trim on it. Kind of looks like it's a little bit of a reflection type of shadowing detail right there. And that's going to be the type of number six that's going to be all across this car. But it's really cool to have a Reddit uh, diecast. Kind of cool to see like social media type of sponsors um, sponsoring race cars considering the amount of people that use social media. Which includes NASCAR fans. Uh, so to have a design like this is really really cool to have. Uh, this diecast definitely going to be a special car to get. I did not get this initially when it came out. So you guys are probably, well you guys are late to the party. You're late to the party Project 94. You haven't reviewed this car. Well, here it is, guys, in the studio. I didn't think I was going to get this, but I figured there's not a lot of Xfinity uh, videos on this channel. So I figured, you know what, let's get one. Let's get the number six Reddit car. And it looks fantastic. I'm really a fan of this design. It looks awesome. I just wish this diecast did not come with that massive chip right there. Maybe like a white Sharpie pen would do the, trip, the trick, but yeah, that is bad. But... Other than that, the diecast looks beautiful. It's a really cool paint scheme for this car. Uh, and I can imagine one of the reasons this car got made was because of that Circle B diecast logo. So thank you, Circle B diecast, for sponsoring actual race cars. That way we can get more of them made. But man, I just cannot get over it. I cannot stress it enough to you guys. The orange is definitely not as bad looking on camera. Because look at it. Look at it on camera and then look at this car in real life. Pictures of this car are not going to do the justice for this one. You're going to have to have this one in your hands and really look at it to get an idea of how this orange really is. It looks really, really good. It's a really, really nice shade of orange. Um, when, especially when the light is hitting it. Makes it look fantastic. Uh, but yeah, this almost looks like an illusion type of design because there's so many stripes on this design. That you can be like, okay, this right here is meant to be its own stripe. But in reality, this it's a white stripe with two thin stripes on top of a background that's orange. And then just a crazy looking design uh, in terms of the stripes. I, I like stripes a lot. They're, they're very simple, but when you play with it, this kind of looks like a car you can make in like a paint booth on like the Eutechnics games. Uh, so people that played those Eutechnics games remember how fun it was to work with the different shapes and stripes. I really like how the the uh, quarter panel, as I mentioned before, with the orange. You have that orange stripe going past the wheel well, but it's kind of like spiky right there, with like little triangles. That looks really sharp. I like looking at that quite a bit. <sighs> looks really good. And that orange is the same orange that's on the rest of the car, which is really cool. Uh, how they kept the orange consistent on here. Uh, definitely one of my favorite parts of this diecast that drew me in were definitely the white wheels. I mean, colored wheels. Such a rare thing to get with NASCAR diecasts, especially when the cup cars just have generic rim colors. Uh, definitely nice to see one, uh, an Xfinity car with the colored rims, because a lot of Xfinity cars 
most of the ones that get made don't have the colored rims. So to have these, this look, looks fantastic. I mean, not even the Menards paint schemes have had colored rims for the Xfinity series. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Color the wheels. It makes the paint scheme pop more. So whoever designed this one, good job for paying attention to the rim color. So here's the front of the car right here. Here's the hood. Here's the right side. Here's the back. Here's the deck lid. Oh yeah, by the way, that's the rear view camera. Here's the deck lid. Here's the roof of the car. Here's the left side and the chassis of this Xfinity car. So that is it. Another Xfinity car in the books uh, for Project 94. Definitely one of the cooler ones and the more unique Xfinity cars I've looked at on the channel because it's, it's JD Motorsports, which is kind of hard to get diecast from these smaller teams. And then, of course, the sponsor that's on the car, Reddit. And then, of course, the driver, Ryan Vargas. So I hope you guys enjoyed that diecast review. Kind of a complex paint scheme with the stripes. <laughs> Uh, to go over that i am definitely getting back into the groove when it comes to these uh die cast reviews it's summertime so you're going to be seeing a lot more die casts here on the channel old and new so it's definitely going to be really busy here on project 94 so make sure you're subscribed to see it all i hope you guys enjoyed this die cast review comment like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next die cast review and always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your die casts